Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the end of March. So this is for the sign of Aries. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and then we'll break right into that tarot deck. Generally my weekly readings, or generally all of my readings are love readings, but we will see what comes up. We will reveal that card at the very end. I hesitated in doing your reading. Now, I don't know why, a couple times I hesitated, but I have decided to do it right now, so we will see what comes up. I don't know why I hesitate. Are you guys hesitating on something? That could certainly be the case, because I've hesitated, then I went back and I hesitated again, and couple times so there might be some hesitation this week this is for Aries end of March could be the first few days of April could have already happened you know how it goes ooh so there could be an end of a contract okay there could be an end of a contract there could be some conflicts you know, in a marriage, you know, either you could be getting out of a marriage. There, you could be okay. You could be um, going on a new spiritual journey, perhaps learning something new spiritual, spiritually. Um, whew. Yeah. So there's a new beginning here. There is a new beginning here. You know, there's a new beginning, and it has to do with love, okay? And I think it's because you're believing in yourself. I think that you guys, many of you, have ended a contract, okay? You've ended something. And because you are having this renewed faith, there's this renewed faith, there's, there could be a new love, a new beginning here, okay? This can also be self-love, so just keep that in mind. I feel like you guys are having more faith than ever before. You're believing in yourself. You're believing in your path. You're following your path. I also see like a spiritual journey here. Like you are going on a spiritual journey. Okay? There's a transformation here. And in order for this transformation to take place, I think you had to let something go. Yeah, you did let something go. Okay, you released, you did, you did, you released, and because you released, there's a new opportunity in love here, and like I said, this could be self-love, this could also be, you know, a new love, but it's like you're coming out of a fear, okay, this is like, there's still some fear, and there's still some confusion, but you're accepting the reality. There's some secret that has been revealed. Okay, the reality of a situation has been revealed. Okay, and this is a good reality because it's allowing you to release something. This could have been a marriage or something. Something that you were committed to. That was no longer supposed to be part of your spiritual journey. And you know it, so you've decided to embark on a new journey. Yeah, it's like I'm no longer going to invest in something that doesn't serve me. I think that you guys have given up on something that was unrealistic. Something was leaving you dissatisfied. So it feels as though, you know, you were ready. You're ready for this transition. You're ready for this new beginning. And it's no longer, it's like, it's no longer waiting for my ships to come in. It's like, I'm going to, I'm going to bring them in. I'm going to go get them. You know, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like you guys are releasing and really, I think you guys are taking action. The wait is over. That's what I see. It's like the wait is over. Yeah, there's a new beginning here. You guys are headed someplace that is very abundant and secure and stable. 
Uh, you guys are receiving something new. You're, this could be something, a gift. This is a gift. This is a new, stable, secure beginning. Wow. And it's right below this Ace of Cups. So this is, you are, you guys are receiving something wonderful. You know, with, with endings, bring new beginnings. And this is what is happening here. You're ending one commitment and you're receiving something beautiful in return. And this does stem from self-love, believing in yourself. And releasing. I mean, there's huge releasing here. You are guys are releasing. And though I think that the wait is over. And you are about to have wish fulfillment. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. There's a lot of happiness here. I love it. I love it. So you guys should be feeling very happy at the end of this month. You could be receiving something on a tangible level. This could even be a new partnership, but it could also be just abundance. Okay? Could be security. All of a sudden you feel secure. Secure with your own love or a new love. Either way, there's a lot of happiness, rebirth, renewal, transformation, spiritual. Uh, you guys are embarking on a beautiful new spiritual journey. I think the wait is over. I really, really do. I want to zoom this in, but I just want to get a couple more. Yeah, justice is being served. You may, you know, this is like a Jesus consciousness. It is. It is. It's like a Jesus consciousness. So I think that many of you have taken the time to step back, to embark on this spiritual journey and to believe in yourself and to follow your path and focus on your inner being. I think that there's been a time of reflection and... You know, now it is time for you to release this heaviness that you've been carrying around regarding this decision that you've needed to make. It's like you're releasing it and you're making the decision. Wherever you are at that you had to release, there was no progress, okay? There was no success there. So you were just like, you know what? Time for me to go. I have faith that I know what's right and I'm going to take the lead. Yeah, you guys were th have been thinking about this journey for a while, huh? But now you have the confidence and the courage, the willpower and the strength t to do it. It's like you guys are really very passionate about your future. You're probably feeling very attractive, looking very attractive, taking the lead. You guys are dominating your future. And you're vibrating very highly. Because, you know, wherever you are at, there was a lack of appreciation. And I think that you guys have decided that where there's no appreciation, there's no me. You guys are making solid decisions. You are. You're making solid decisions that are leading to stability and security. And balance is starting to be restored because of these decisions that you are making. I feel like you guys have been through a period of criticism. You've been judged unfairly. You've been dealing with somebody who doesn't communicate well and has kind of like dimmed your shine, okay? They've dimmed your passion and they made you feel like less than eager, put it that way, It's okay? And that's why you had to say no. No. I have to do what's best for me. 
I think you guys are being assertive. You're looking, looking at things through new eyes, new glasses. And you're making very wise decisions. <clears throat> I think you were dealing with somebody that was holding you back and you come to the, came to this realization that, like I said earlier, if you don't see my worth, if you don't, if you can't communicate with me the whole nine yards, if you don't see me as I am, then I need to go. And it feels like you guys are being very assertive and you're taking the lead and there's not one person that can hold you back. <coughs> you are, you're being the boss. I am the boss of my own life. And because you are being the boss, you are bringing security and stability back to your life. You're taking the practical approach And I think that you guys are moving on from a depressive state. Because you were dealing with someone who couldn't communicate. You were. You were dealing with someone who couldn't communicate. And I feel like you guys are like, no way. Hell no. You can't even communicate with me? And I think this person has caused a lot of mental conflict. Okay? But I think that you guys are now taking the lead. You're not gonna, I'm not going to be judged like this. I'm not going to stay stuck here in this spot. I'm not going to let you bring me down. And I feel like there could be some hurtful words that come out. Okay, there could have been some hurtful words or there is some hurtful words or they're going to come out that push you over the edge and you put your sword up like right here, you know, and you say, hey, no way. No. Nope. I deserve more. I deserve better. I have to do what's right for me. I have to bring stability and security back to my life. I have to do the practical thing. And the practical thing is not being depressed over you or this situation. So I feel like you guys are absolutely taking a leadership role, being assertive, speaking your mind, doing what you need to do, and getting the hell out of a situation that no longer serves you. I feel like there's an end of a contract here because you guys believe in yourself. You're taking the lead. You're following your own path with faith. And because you're following your path with faith, you are receiving something that is emotionally fulfilling. I see a transition here, a transformation that uh, brings you something new and beautiful and wish fulfillment. Okay? I see a higher consciousness here where you guys are embarking on a spiritual journey that brings you stability and security. And a whole lot of abundance. Because you guys are taking the lead. Nobody is going to control me. And if you don't see my worth, then goodbye. So I feel like this is a week of more wish fulfillment here. Wishes being fulfilled abundantly. Because you guys are taking the lead in your own lives. Nobody can hold you back. If you're single, there could be a new opportunity in love. Because you have manifested it. Okay? You've done the work. You've believed in yourself. So if you're single, there could be a new love. If you're a couple... There could be an end of a contract because you believe in yourself. I'm just telling you what I see. With endings, bring new beginnings. So I feel like many of you have ended one phase of your life and you are moving on to a much, much, much better place.
Self-sabotage. Oh my gosh. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. We already told you that, didn't we? I said no stopping you a couple times. <coughs> I'm going to read this over. Self-sabotage. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails those care carefully woven plans. I don't believe there's any more self-sabotage here. I think that you guys are listening and you're moving and you have a new beginning right in front of you. Talk to you later. <laughs>